Alrighty guys, so went to Yogi's Toy and Die Cast show again this year and um, got another haul video for you. As normal, it'll probably be in two or three parts um, just so that the videos aren't super long. So we're going to get right into it here with the first two things I bought. I always try to go somewhat in order of how I bought things. Uh, that's not going to work very well this year because a lot of my stuff is mixed up in different bags. But these are the first two things I got. got these from Yogi. He had a whole tray of these little uh, step sides here. Uh, so I got two of them. If the camera's going to focus on them. This is a Tomica. Which I didn't know they had a step side casting. <clears throat> Chevrolet truck. It's got these real nice wheels on it. Nice tan wheels go nice with the uh, the brown. Got the die cast grill. It says Chevy down there on the uh, license plate. The bow tie. Little gray interior there. Nice camper topper on the uh, back here. And a trailer hitch. Got some KC lights on top there, and guess what? The door's open on this little guy. Pretty cool, huh? Rolls pretty good. Then we have a Yat Ming. This is the original Yat Ming, got the metal base on it, and the detailed grill. Now this is a second release, I should I should not have said this was an original. This is the second Yat Ming release, but it's an original Yat Ming. It says Chevrolet on tailgate, however the tailgate is cast in and does not open. A uh, original one, I can get this drawer out here. The uh, tailgate opens up on it. Now luckily, this yellow one has not met the same fate as the black and the copper one that are in my drawer right now. My drawer that won't go back in. Um, this front tab that holds the front wheels in is always seems to be broke. So I was extra careful with this one to make sure that it didn't get broke. But I haven't seen this one is why I got it with the uh, dark green and light green stripes it says Chevy on the hood same deal on the doors nice little truck all right moving on here this also came from Yogi let me put it together here. Got a super fast Lesney King size here. This is a uh, Ford tanker truck. This one's blank. It had decals on it, as you can see, but uh, they're not there. So this is blank, which means this is a good customizer. Make it say whatever you want it to. Ford LTS series tractor made in England 1973 there you go you might remember I've got this set but it's a Texaco version it's red something I really like on these trucks is that the hood tilts forward just like on the real truck Get your engine there, nice and chrome with the radiator and everything. All the stacks are still there. Trailer receiver still there. Pretty 
Pretty cool. And the win windows are in good shape too. And it rolls good. And our trailer rolls good as well. It's still got its little front wheels on there. Articulated tanker. 1973. Those fold up too if you don't want them down. Everything's still there as far as I know except for back here. Our lights are gone from back here. That's all right. Got our caps here all chrome. Some of the chromes wore off, but they're there. Little uh, ladder basket is still there. It's not in bad shape, other than missing those tail lights. So can't complain too much there. And they make a nice set together. I like this uh, Ford casting. All right, what do we want to go to next? Let's go to the next thing I got, which is a bunch of loose cars here. I guess we'll go through the do the M2 thing first, so that it, I'm not shoving it around in the loose car bag. I've been looking and looking and looking for this uh, 1976 edition GMC. I didn't even know M2 made a four-wheel drive version of it. I knew they had the lowered down one, and I did not like the lowered down one at all. They don't make a stock height one, but I'll take the four-wheel drive version for sure. Um, so I really like this uh, paint job here. This was a 76 edition only. You could only get this in 76. This was the GMC uh, version of the uh, Spirit of 76 package. Chevy Spirit of 76 was drastically different. M2 puts this in the Syndicate series. Square Body Syndicate. This is a Walmart exclusive. GMC on the tailgate. Got the stripes on the hood. I'll open this up in a different video. Uh, so something cool I will say about this truck. Uh, when my mom and uncle were kids they were in the um fourth of july parade and there's a picture of them sitting on the tailgate of one of these trucks going through the parade and the only way you can tell that from the picture is the uh, red and white stripes there on the back of the truck but uh i just have always liked this uh i used to it's very similar to the um they had a, a Indianapolis 500 pace truck that was similar to this paint job, but this is not the pace truck. This is the Spirit of 76 edition. 1976 GMC Sierra Grand 15 4x4 SSO2, and that has something to do with Square Body Syndicate. I don't know anything about that, so I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> But you can see it's a Walmart exclusive because it says WMT, Walmart. All right, now we'll get into the loose cars. I'll just dump them out like I normally do. How's that? Didn't get as many as normal. Uh, there are a couple more from Yogi in a different bag because I went back later because they put more out. The first thing we'll look at here, I'm going <clears> to <throat> re-explain what I meant by this Yatming being an original Yatming. Yatming sold the molds and the rights for the square body to other companies. Uh, lots of other companies. This is one of the companies that has a blank base on it, so I'm not sure who made this one. Still has the Yatming style wheels says flash on the side still has the detailed grill but it's not the same grill the headlights are different 
I don't know if you can even tell the difference, but there's no lines in the tail in the headlights on the blue one. Also, tailgate's blank. Does not say Chevrolet. I like collecting these different versions of this casting because it's fun. That one's not brokey. That one rolls real good. All right. We got a really nice Byway Man from Hot Wheels. <laughs> I've actually got this one sitting up here, but it's not in as good a shape by any means. This one, the base isn't even corroded on. Nice and shiny. Got the pink and orange splatter paint. A little dusty. Got all of its lights. Hardly any chips in the paint at all. I don't see any, to be quite honest. That's a pretty nice one, and that one rolls. A lot of times these newer releases of the Byway Man with the bigger wheels, for some reason, the axles are a lot wider than they needed to be. They don't roll very good. That one still rolls. Let's look at another Byway Man here. This is more of an original one with the tires that are the right size for the truck. This one used to have the Eagle on the side. This is the blue release. That's more of a typical base for these. Still has all of its lights on top, too. What little interior this thing has. Nice spare tire. Eagle's repped off of this side, too. Still rolls. And a Ford here. I like this casting from uh, Matchbox. It's not real proportional or, or, or scale. I keep dropping it. It's a 93 Ford F-150. I could remember if it was F-150 or 250. Um, so you can see how thin this casting is. Um, yeah, like I say, it's not real proportional, but I like the casting. It's kind of a neat truck. I like the two-tone on this one. Got the dual gas tanks. Got your F-150 emblem there up front. Nice detailed grill. It's got both of its lights. It's a nice truck. This is, <clears throat> excuse me, this is awesome for one reason. Lesney, back when Lesney was making... Matchbox made a Land Rover Safari that looked identical to this. Same color. That's probably real close to the same luggage pack. Why should I say probably? I'll go get mine. We'll compare the two. I think that is the same luggage pack. You'll have to pardon mine's all dusty and it won't wash off. I'm not sure why, but. So you can see here, not the same cast. The Lesney one appears to be a little bit more detailed and the gas cap is in a different spot on these two. Um, the window up top there is not as long and it's punched out for the window. It's cast in here and it's longer. It has the same luggage oh the front's different they don't the Lesney doesn't have mirrors and the new one does and Lesney has a license plate and the new one does not you can see the front bumper is different around back they're about the same uh, there's got a license plate cast in, or a place for license plate cast in on both sides of this new one. There's only one on the right side on the old one. 
slight differences. <laughs> the base is a lot different, but that's, whoops, that's just typical. So that's the only reason I got this. I thought it was cool that they brought that back. 65 Land Rover Generation 2 Safari. Here we got what they call a brick nose Ford. 88 to 91, I think. Something like that. They made this. This is a Maisto casting. I think they still make this casting, but you can't get the fire truck anymore. Uh, the ladder is kind of taking the same shape as the cab. So that's not real great, probably, to be climbing on that one. And I don't, I'm not sure if I can straighten that one out or not. Maybe I can. But it's got a red interior in it. It says Rural Fire Department. Got the nice chrome wheels on it. Ford calls these flare sides instead of step sides. We've got part of our push bar. Chrome's not all wore off with a grill. Wheels aren't tore up too bad. Got your little gumball lights there. What's that, a fire extinguisher sitting back there? I don't know what that is. Got our hose. So it's not in great shape, but it's not in awful shape either. I've seen these a lot worse than that. And this is always a bouncy casting. Let's look at the, a Jeep here. I'm not sure if this is a Yatming or not. It used to be. But the Yatming has a Jeep grill. I've never seen one with this uh, chicken wire grill before. Not even sure why that has that type of grill. But I didn't really care. I bought this one for these wheels. I like using these wheels on some of my four-wheel drive customs. They're narrow. They're moderately realistic looking. And I prefer narrow mud tires to the big wide ones. So that's... Basically why I got this. No markings on the bottom as to who made this. The hood opens. Oh, and the engine is cast in on this one. I don't think this one's a Yatming. I think this is a sold off casting here. Just like the uh, little step sides. Supposedly it's a Jeep, just with a different grill. I don't know who made this one either. I've got several that I'm not sure about. No markings at all on this, except for made in China. Judging by what part of the grill we still have, this is a Chevy. We don't have any body lines that indicate this is a Chevy. Uh, we don't have hardly any body lines that indicate it's anything at all. But I like the little topper on it and the fire department theme. It's not anything special, but it's not awful. We got a Gary the Snail truck. If you're not familiar, Gary is SpongeBob's pet on SpongeBob. It's not going to focus. I will say one thing that's kind of weird with this truck. If they wanted this to really be truly looking like Gary, Gary is blue with a green, I'm going to call it a skirt, around the his body. Um, the truck is green with blue around the edges. So, uh, I wish that it was flipped. I wish this was blue and this was green so that it was more like Gary. I get that the shell can be pearl because then they can put this graphic on here and it, it stands out pretty good. Got his little antennas up there. I just thought it was cute. I don't normally buy the fantasy vehicles. Snail truck, it says. 
Maybe they use this for more than just Gary, so they didn't want to call it Gary. We have the Mercedes-Benz news truck from uh, Matchbox TV news truck, it says, 1989. Weather news at noon and sports, baseball, weather, TV camera. And guess what? It's all still there. That's pretty nice. Picked up this little Dodge truck here. Not hard to find. And I like this one. This is obviously the green version with the green topper. I like these toppers because... I have this one, so I know that this comes off. I haven't taken one off in a long time, but there we go. So you can have it with with the topper or without the topper. And these toppers interchange. They go on... Uh, Hot Wheels had... The, the 97 Ford had uh, optional topper on that one, too. And um, the Dodge toppers fit on those Ford castings, too, so... They're kind of interchangeable for several different castings, which I like. It says Dodge on the tailgate. Got half of the tail light painted in. Big Hot Wheels decal. Dodge Ram truck. Just a few more here. We have. Uh, is this a Lee Do, I think? Yeah. Lee Do. Days Gone, uh, Campbell's Beefsteak Tomato Soup. This guy is missing a tire. I don't think he's delivering any soup. But I like this one. Little old Ford. A nice top on there. It's got three tires. I don't think I've got an extra Lee Do tire. I might. 1997 Campbell Soup Company. If the yesteryear models of yesteryear tires are the same size, I have some extras of those. So, just might. Hot Wheels Oldsmobile. I like this casting, but I don't have very many of it. So I picked it up. The Flat Out 442. Say Western on the back. Yep. I uh, had the 442 with the arrow on the door. It's not in great shape, but I like this casting, like I said. It might become a custom at some point. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I would do with it, so I'm not going to commit to that right now. I kind of like it orange. There's the back of it there. Got the louvers. Got the racing seat, and you can't see the, there you go. Got your racing seat and your uh, fire extinguisher, and the steering wheel's still there. And one more here, we have a Majorette Ford Model A. You can see they spelled model the French way, because Majorette is French. Plastic base, plastic fenders. And half of the box is plastic. This looks to me just like the Matchbox Ford Model A box truck. I don't know if Matchbox sold off that casting. Or if this is just the exact same truck. Uh, it's not as detailed as a Matchbox one. But I wouldn't doubt if it's the same one that's been sold off. Willy Wonka's Fruit Shaped Runt Scandy. You can see all the little runts on there. Runts on the door. It says runts fruit shaped candy on the top. Willy Wonka brands. Cute little candy truck. Nothing on the back. I just think that's odd that half of the box is plastic and half of it's metal. But the back of the cab is cast in because when I wiggle this, you don't see that moving. 
which I find kind of interesting. If I had another one of these, I'd just make it some kind of truck and take this plastic part off, but I kind of like the Runtz truck, so I'm not going to do that to that one. That's going to do it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next video.